This is Kelly Hill, executive editor with RCR Wireless News. I'm here at Mobile World Congress 2019 with Yvonne Rule, who is the Mobile Network Segment Manager with Expo. How are you doing? How is the show going so far? Very well, very busy already, <laughs> starting on the Monday morning. But, uh. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Great. Well, tell us a little bit. Uh, so one of the things that Expo has been focused on is network slicing uh, and service assurance for network slicing. So tell us a little bit about some of the challenges that are associated with that. Yes, exactly. I mean, uh, network slicing is definitely a very critical uh, component for the, for the 5G moving forward. Uh, still at the beginning, let's say, but uh, we want to be uh, really present right from the beginning when operators are starting to architecture their virtual network in order to be ready for network slicing later on. So uh, what we want to provide is, uh, is a service assurance uh, at every domain that are involved in the network slicing for the uh, network infrastructure, the optical domain, the transport domain, and the service uh, level like uh, the cloud, I mean NFV, SDN, etc. Mm -hmm. So we want we want to make the, the let's say our job as usual, but let's say that uh, in uh, network slicing it becomes even more critical by the fact that a slice is defined fundamentally by uh, an SLA, which will be provided end to end to any subscriber who are attached to that particular slice. Mm -hmm. So saying SLA, that means that from our perspective, we need to guarantee that SLA, we need to measure that SLA all, all along the life cycle of the slice. From the creation of the slice or its extension or modification, we want to measure, we will measure uh, the, the SLA and provide a birth certificate to the subscriber or to the operator or to both. I mean, we provide a guarantee that the slice is created and it can deliver according to the promise. Then, all during the operation of the slice, we keep monitoring the performance uh, of each of the domain I, I mentioned before in order to detect some uh, degradation in the performance. And if we detect a degradation, we can feed or we can feed that information, we can tell or tr to, the, to the domain that is, that is involved that it has to change something, it has to provide more resources, and uh, so it can adjust uh, basically the slice or oh, actually it can adjust the resources to provide to that, that we provided that, to that slice. Okay. Yeah. One of the things that you mentioned uh, with the acquisition of Ontology, that yeah. it gives you really interesting insights into yeah. the, the topology, and, and I wanted you to talk a little bit about that visibility into you know, what each slice has in common if there's a problem. Yeah, uh, in, in fact, uh, what is dif fundamentally different from uh, the existing networks, today is one network fit all. So basically it's one or let's say a few networks, I mean, that are running as overlays, you know, on top of each other, but never more than four, three, four, five. I mean, that, that, that's what an operator is, is typically running from a co-network perspective. In network slicing, we're talking here about a dimension that is totally out of the control of a human being. We're talking about hundreds, even not thousands of slices, right? So. When you start considering the operation of such a, a complex network based on lots of different domains, end-to-end, uh, -end, and sometimes as well based on different operators, because you know, a slice again is end-to-end, -end, mm -hmm. so it goes across different operators. So to manage this complexity, you need a very high level of automation, okay? So automation means automation of the operation and the setup, etc. But it means also automation of uh, of uh, the, uh, the the SLA verification and then closed loop operation and everything like that. So what we do is um, uh, we ha we we acquired two years ago a company called Ontology, mm -hmm. which is doing basically real time topology detection from any kind of resource. It could be physical device. It could be a virtual function. It could be uh, coming from the SDN controller, the NFV, Mano, it could come from different, different uh, sources. And, and we associate these different elements, uh, how they are connected to each other. Just as an example, there is a problem of latency. Okay, latency at the service level. We can monitor uh, that on the back all there is a latency issue. And we know that that particular back all is using that fiber. And that fiber is using that lambda in the fiber. So we know as well which is the, uh, the, the, the optical switches that is associated with, with that. And we know as well uh, what is the, the slice ID, you know, at the slice level. So basically we can understand that 
for that particular slice, the latency issue is coming from that particular lambda in the, in the, in the optical uh, fiber. So this is an example, but again, if you still do that manually, it's still not feasible in the, in the big scale. So what we have in ontology, we have two features which are fundamental. One is the common cause analysis. So automatically, we will monitor the different slices. For each slice, we know the topology, we know the resources that are used. And if, if we consider that several slices are impacted by the same problem, mm -hmm. we know which is the common component that all these slices are using. With same leg on the network, or same router, or same whatever, mm -hmm. okay? So we can, the operator can go quickly and quicker to that particular device or function and fix it. If it's a virtual function, maybe it just has to provide more RAM or more CPU or more, you know, change the scale of, okay. the, of the function. Yeah. In the other way around, because we know topology again, when uh, a new slice has to be created or extended to cover a new location for a new subscriber, if that slice is very critical, very important, very high in the scale of a priority level, mm -hmm. then the operator needs to understand, yeah, but if I allocate resources for that slice in that area, what will I going, what will am I going to impact? Ah. And uh, because the topology knows all the slices and all the resources, mm -hmm. it will be able to tell, okay, if you do this here, it will impact those different slices and uh, those different subscribers. Okay. So Ontology is just one of a number of recent acquisitions that Exo has made. Can you tell us a little bit about how the company is transforming itself yeah. strategically uh, you know, from maybe what it was two or three years ago? Yeah, well, two or three years ago, actually, initially, you know, Exo comes from the Tesla measurement. Mm -hmm. So lots of portable solutions for the lab, for the rollout, for the field testing, etc. Mm -hmm. But slowly but surely, we move to service assurance. And, uh, well, last two years ago we acquired Ontology, but last year we acquired Astelia, which is yes. another key, co key component for us for the passive monitoring. Mm -hmm. So, all together now, we have lots of solutions for active, passive monitoring, for service assurance. But if you remember what I said about the complexity of the network slicing, mm -hmm. uh, uh, automation is key to make sure that all that will run properly. If you want automation, you need... Uh, uh, you, need, uh, you need to be involved as soon as possible in the automation process that the operator is, has been starting already. You know, the virtualization, the SDN, and all this, this virtualization of, uh, of the network. The sooner we can be involved, the better we'll be integrated in the, uh, in the, in the operation of his network. And then we're not just providing a solution for troubleshooting anymore, we are really a player in the automation process, in the closed loop process, at every domain or globally at the, at the slicing domain. Uh, so this is what we want to do. And uh, if you start doing this, if you're involved in the early stage of the virtualization, that means that, of course, we need to talk to the operator, but we need to talk to his uh, system integrator as well. Mm -hmm. So more and more, we have to talk to, you name them, right? All the big operator, the system integrators in the world. And more and more, we have to partner with them. We have to be part of the catalog of solutions. So this is a new way to approach the, uh, the market as well. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, and we hope thank that you, you have a great too. show. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you.